not a year of hard work in the relentless pursuit of knowledge that will enable our students to embrace opportunities and take on challenges life may bring with courage, confidence, and wisdom. This would not be possible without the guidance and support of the parents, the hard work and patience of our dear teachers, and the persistence and determination that lies within the students' hearts. Please give yourselves a round of applause. Today also marks another milestone in our life and in the history of Rosario National High School as we gather and celebrate success on today's 14th recognition rites. Let us now listen to the words of welcome by Chan Louis L. Biluhan, grade 9, with high honor. To our guest of speaker, Ms. Sher Mrs. Sherry Inaya. To our SPTA president, Mr. Reggie E. Magampok. To our dear principal, Mrs. Lourdes C. Villadores. To our proud parents, fellow students, good afternoon. It is with great excitement and a sense of gratitude that I stand before you today to welcome you all to this momentous occasion, our recognition day. First and foremost, I would like to express my heartfelt appreciation to our teachers and mentors who have seriously supported us throughout this journey. Your dedication, expertise, and unwavering belief in our potential have been instrumental in shaping us into the individuals we are today. Thank you for pushing us beyond our limits, nurturing our talents, and instilling us the values of excellence and perseverance. To our parents, thank you for your love sacrifices, and constant support. Your belief in us has been our foundation, and your encouragement has fueled our determination to succeed. Today, we proudly share this moment with you as a testament of your unwavering faith in our abilities. To my fellow students, today is a celebration of our collective achievements. We have invested countless hours in studying, exploring our passions, and engaging in various activities. We have embraced challenges and grown stronger with every, with every hurdle we overcame. Today, we stand together, proud of our accomplishments, and ready to embrace the bright future that awaits us. Recognition Day is not about acknowledging our academic achievements, but also recognizing our growth as individuals. It is a celebration of friendship we have forged, skills we have developed, and experiences that have shaped us. Let us cherish these memories and use them as a stepping stone to a future filled with limitless possibilities. As we pass into the glory of this recognition, let us remember the responsibility that comes with it. We have been given the tools knowledge and support to make a difference in the world. Let us try to be catalyst for a positive change, to lead with integrity and inspire others through our actions. Today, as we celebrate into our achievements, let us express our gratitude to everyone who played part in our success. Let us carry the spirit of gratitude, humility, and resilience us as we embark on a new adventure pursue higher education or enter the professional world. Once again, I extend my warmest welcome to each and every one of you. Thank you for being a part of this special day. And may this recognition day celebration serve as a reminder of the boundary, boundless potential that resides within each of us. Thank you and God bless.
Thank you, Louis, for that warm welcome. A year of gaining knowledge and learning new things. A year worth of friendships, challenges, and opportunities. And we are all gathered here today to celebrate those achievements. The trials and hardships that our students have triumphed is really worth celebrating since another chapter of their academic lives has come to a close. At this moment, to present to us the honor students and the awardees, may I call in Mamur Rasi Vinebarasna? Ibili na nanti saya mau bangkok mau matuk. Doktor Edel Perto and Inaria Sisifai, Schools Division Superintendent, OIC of the Assistant Schools Division Superintendent, Erling Doktor Erling Daji Dail. Our active and dynamic school, uh, public schools district supervisor, Dr. Beatrice Ipondo Abdal, SPTA President, Mr. Reggie Magampo, our guest speaker. Miss Sherry May Ayo, honors and awardees, parents, visitors, Rosario National High School faculty and staff. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. I have the honor to present to you the Grade Seven honors and awardees. The Grade. Eight honors and awardees. Grade nine honors and awardees. Grade eleven honors and awardees. Congratulations. Thank you, ma'am. This time, I request Mr. R.J. B. Kaganawa, Senior High School Teacher, to introduce our honorable guest for this afternoon's event. My dear respect to our dear principal, this is the Lord of the City of the Honorable The Honorable Lady Magampo, our CPA President. For students, owners, and awardees, parents, visitors, ladies and gentlemen, good afternoon. It is my great pleasure and privilege to introduce to you the guest speaker of today's recognition rights of Rosario National High School. She is an alumna of this institution who graduated together with the damage of Batch 2014. After graduation, she rendered her services at Life Bank Microfinance Foundation as an account officer and as an online teacher at Fidelitalk PH. She is also called to serve as an office staff at Bali Regional Office and after that at Balingasa Tourism Office. She is currently connected with Rural Health Unit of Balingasa as an admin staff. Dear students, let us welcome with a round of applause to our very own Miss Sherry May in Ayuk of Rosario Balinasa Bukana Kalanta to share with us her fruitful and meaningful experiences. Thank you, sir. Can you take your seat? Let me begin by welcoming all of you to today's event and thanking um, Sir Kagalawan for the kind introduction. My respect to our Almighty God for bringing us here today, to our proud parents, 
And of course, to our school principal, Mang Villadores, faculty members, Barangay Council, visitors, ladies and gentlemen, good afternoon. So it's truly an honor to be invited by my alma mater to be the guest speaker for today's recognition. Even if I'm not yet there, no? So first and foremost, I would like to congratulate every one of you today. Um, um, congratulations um, to our school principal, Mom Lourdes Villadores, teachers and staff who all made this event possible. Congratulations parents and guardians who fully supported and guided the students. Congra and of course, congratulations to our junior high school completers who despite the pandemic are now starting to harvest the fruit of their labors. So I am Sherman Mobuayo, a graduate of Bachelor of Science in Information Technology and completed professional education, major in social studies. So I'm not a good writer nor um, an experienced speaker, but I hope I will be able to inspire you with my speech today. So first, um, when Mom Nurse Galapo invited me to be your guest speaker for today's recognition, of course, I hesitated at first. No, I told her na, Mom, please, no, no, ready. No, 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 achieve. But Mom Nurse Galapo insisted, yung siya, ay, pero na-achieve, na, mapag kayo na kuha sa inyong kuha yung sa kakaroon. No, so that is why I'm here in front of you today. So thank you, Mom Nurse Galapo, for trusting me. And of course, Rosario National High School for giving me this opportunity. So, I will share with you my stories. Well, they are simple, they are straightforward, forward, although may not be entirely new to you. So, nine years ago, I was also in your shoes, listening to the guest speaker during my graduation. So, pagkakaiba lang is, recognition niya today, and you still have two more years to go, or some of you, pinapaka years, and I'm graduate sa high school. So, after completing your high school, you were of your lives. So first, you will enter to a new um, campus, but hopefully most of you here will still continue your senior high school here in Rosario National High School. So just um, enjoy your high school life because for me, it's the best and most memorable experience I had. No? Why? It's because this is where I experienced my love at first. Just love. Without I was consistent in top one in the class during my high school. I think from first year to third year. Because in the last year of my high school, so I, I felt the pressure, no? Okay, from um, from top one going down to top four. So the court the court honor na lang sa high school it's because kina ko yung kuya man lagi, no? Nagpalabi. So mo ako yung happy na graduate. Ay ako yung lagi mo ah. So, mauto, nagkalabi mo sa'yo, kuya. I mean, remember na ako, that's what time is. Ipapatawag ko sa office ni Mang Galapo, no? <laughs> remember na ako si Mang sa una. So, yun ako napatawag. Question ko niya, why is it both of my subjects are in low grade, grade no? Nagubos, halos sa ako mga grade. So, mauto, ay akong gitambagan. Ibasunso na ako sa panagpatakan, ang sa akong bukhan. Okay? Maunag niya, yun ako ni Mang is. Nag-expect ang parents ako. And of course, you would mag-food, no? So that is why, at, uh, going back, I felt the pressure of waking up early in the morning before mag-food, mag-bali, mag-study bali. And luckily, I was able to make it again, no? Though not in the top one, but I got on the top two. So I graduated from Tatorian uh, during our high, um, high school graduation, so batch 2014. And so, mao na ako makainom mo sa binigay, magpalabig, uyab-uyab, kayo makawala sa pasin. So, my high school, uh, uh, my experience as a high school student was like, Magpalabig, uyab-uyab, uyab-uyab. But because of these experiences, I was able to develop um, discipline and hard work. So, you students, you are all going to define. How do I know that? With the theme, K-12 graduates are molded through an resilient education 
Education, Educational Foundation. So the K-12 curriculum has a purpose, and that's to make you more ready, more equipped uh, to join the workforce or enter college. I was just like you. I was happy, excited, but also felt fear. Fear of the unknown future. Fear of new routine. Fear of being in a new school or in a new place or with new friends. And aside from fear, fear there was also stress. No, choosing a school in college is sometimes stressful. No, uh, money is the number one consideration. And number two is the parents' approval. So even in choosing course in college, it's hard for me. No, I don't know para mga pasahiro no, 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 um, junior high school completers, for as you reach this milestone in your academic journey, thank your parents, teachers, and friends for giving their time, efforts, and sacrifices. And thank you also to my uh, former teachers here in Rosario National High School for everything. Part of who I am now is because of you. So thank you once again and good afternoon. Thank you so much, ma'am. At this time, ma'am, may we request you again, ma'am, in front to receive your plaque. So let me read to you the citation. Republic of the Philippines, Department of Education, Region 10, Northern Mindanao, Division of Misamis Oriental, District of Balinasak Central. Rosario National High School presents this plaque of appreciation to ma'am Sherry May and Ayo for inspiring the academic and special awardees through sharing her life journey and success story that is worth emulating and remembering. During the 14th recognition rights of Rosario National High School held on July 11, 2023 with the theme, K-12 to graduates molded through a resilient educational foundation. Signed, Lourdes C. Vigedore, Secondary School Principal. Signed, Beatrice E. Akla, PSDS, Balimusak Central District. Thank you so much, ma'am. Grabe kasi mga kakakuan. Uy, bisan ako nakapadaklin ko yung kapotrapo sa luha mo. Makarundun nito sa panahon sa high school pa ka. Ay, o. Ay, nung si Ma'am Bixa, nagyan na mga ulo niya. Kaya distraction. Pero yung si Ma'am, oh, supportive. Ibigyan natin yung si Pa'y Pwede, nagyan ko muna. Sa pakpa kami mga uya. Ako, yung mga mapanawa kaysa yung pakpak na ko uya. Okay, so. Ngayon sila. Nagyan sa sila. Kung saan, kato saan ko ba doon na nang pauyag? Kapit ito ang pagmakauyag niya, mamin niyo, great show. May ka makatry sa daw kuno para makapin sila ang heartbreak siya. Kisa ka broken grade eh? Tapos ka mo? Ako eh. Nag-i-try management. Huwag ito na gano'n ni mam. Mahina ka na kulo. Kawalo ang inuhang uras. Okay. Now it's time to acknowledge the hard work and achievements of our grade 7 and grade 8 students. We will now proceed to the awarding of honors and awards for these grade levels. Let us welcome the year level chairpersons for the grade 7 and grade 8 to do the honor of calling out the names of the awardees. Mrs. Nova M. Ricamadas for grade 7 and Mr. Eric White Chas for grade 8. May we also request Mom Lourdes Tibidiadores, ma'am, our school principal, to award the medals to the uh, awardees and to be assisted by the grade level advisors. To maintain the order, parents, please fall in line at the side. As the name of your son or daughter is called, and wait until you are called to hang the medals. Thank you. 
with honors Alapa Jimaira Creek City with honors Vine Jasmine Beach with honors Kambarina Julian Lay O she is also a recipient of Best in Social Science Perfect Attendance Award and Journalism Award with honors Kambarilan Micaela B. With honors, Lanzal Aldrin C. With honors, Gonzalez Haname C. With honors, Herrera Jamaica S. Requesting the parents to hang on the medal. Ako bi Jones ni Tan ng magsayaw. Oh, bakit ako kuno yung mama sa video? Nasugod na. Ito mas bukid nun. Thank you. With honors, Hamila Pia Nicole B. With honors, Janet Angelin B. With honors, Madam Kuk Gerard 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 With honors, Murillo John Howard B. With honors, Oyangguren Josefina J. With honors, Mainat Alex Junior A. With honors, Pulpu Giani P. With honors, Kimiji P. With honors, Ribu Jamaica Kate A. Thank you. 
Dahal, Sadiq Suwar, Marquis Dansal, Sadiq Suwar, Jamie Bilaxi, Sadiq Suwar, Erich A. Longhino, Sadiq Suwar, Dave Kurt B. Rolida, Sadiq Suwar, and Charles Godwin B. Mahay, Kanda Award. Requesting the parents. 